Yo, what is up? How are you guys doing today? So I have another unturned update for you guys, and that's 3.15.11.0. And in this update, there's a lot of additions, improvements, tweaks, and fixes. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So before we move on to any additions, uh, the first thing on the uh, update notes page is the arm shipment part number one of number two. Now, under this, it shows a little description of how these basically... Um, these new guns have arrived on all these new maps and everything and in the airdrops um so basically it says russian survivors have recovered a key military storage depot housing a huge arsenal of russia's finest weapons and have begun shipping them out to share with the coalition starting today coalition airdrops now contain the first half of these newly uncovered weapons next week the second half should be ready for deployment so next week we should be expecting the uh you know ba the other shipment basically the other arm shipment of all these new uh, russian weapons so uh yeah let's go ahead and get on with the additions so on the additions we have all these new arm shipments uh that were added all these basically just one arm shipment with a whole bunch of weapons inside them now i'm not going to say these by their uh their names in like the update notes or like their actual names in game but i'm just going to say them by the actual names in you know like the real world so this would have to be the PPSH. This is, of course, an Uzi. Um, I don't think there's any other name for an Uzi. I don't know. But that's the Uzi. That's definitely a Tech 9. And uh, that, I think, is a Sage 12. Or it could be something else. I forgot what the other one is that looks exactly similar to it. So sorry for those if you, for those of you who basically you know, get mad at me for getting this wrong. But, you know, whatever. So here we have the Tech 9. All right. So let's go ahead and put this in our inventory. And uh, I also put another clip in here just, you know, just in case because this has like very little ammo. So we're going to go ahead and try and go kill some zombies with this. So let's go over here. See a zombie right over there. Um, I don't know. Can we shoot from over here? We probably can. Okay, so bullets don't reach that far, I'm assuming. Ooh. Okay. One shot headshot. Oh, pow. Ooh. All right, let's see how many shots it takes to the torso. Let's go to this zombie right over here. Make sure there's no other zombies. Yo, what's up, man? How you doing? How you doing? One, two. Okay, so it's two shots to the torso, so we're going to go ahead and walk back over here. Uh, Yeah, let's go back over here. I don't feel like wrestling some zombies right now. So we'll go ahead and get one of the other weapons, and then we'll test those out, because we have those extra zombies that are walking right over to us. So let's go ahead and we'll grab the uzi right here okay so we'll grab this uzi um obviously there's probably other names for these like you know in the real world basically but i'm just gonna say them by like their shortened names or whatever but if i'm right i'm right i guess so here we have the bulldog or uzi whatever you guys want to call it now let's go ahead and test this on some zombies so we'll bring them right over here come on you when are you gonna stop okay there you go okay he's just gonna walk right back over okay all right, come back. Okay. All right, well, we'll just go ahead and see. Oh, my gosh, that was lag. What the hell just happened? It literally just unloaded on him. Like, what the hell? All right, we'll shoot one bullet in the head. Another bullet. Okay, so it takes two shots to the head to kill him. Um, I don't know what that was. I had it on auto, and I barely even tapped it, and it just, like, unloaded so many bullets on him. So, let's go ahead and see how many shots this is going to take for the torso. I'm pretty sure it's going to be around, like, maybe four, four or five, maybe three, who knows. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and test it out. Uh, see if we can find any other zombies over here. So, we have some zombies in the gas station. Or at least one, of course. Now, I'm getting freaking notifications on Skype. Alright, so, we're going to go for the torso. One, two, three. Okay, so, it's three shots to the torso. So let's go ahead and go back over to where all the other guns are, and let's go get the other guns. And uh, we'll test those out on other zombies as well. Alright, so the next weapon that we're going to grab is the PPSH right here. So I also, uh, with the quick cut, I looked at on the internet and uh, I was saying the correct names. So yeah, um, let's go ahead and test this PPSH on a zombie. Let's see how many shots it takes for the head and torso. So where can we find a zombie at? Let's, that's just the real question there. That's the real question. Okay, so we have this one over here. Let's try a torso. One. 
Okay, two shot, uh, three shots. Yeah, so it takes three shots to the torso to kill him. Um, now we have this zombie right over here. Let's kill that one too as well. And let's kill that one. Now we can go ahead and teleport back to where we were. So we're right over here. And yeah, here's all the weapons. So this one is the Sage 12, I think, or it has some other type of name to it. I don't know, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, this one's still, I don't know the exact name for it because it just, it looks like two different weapons at the same time. So we're going to go ahead and grab this. This is most likely going to always be a one shot, both to the torso and the head. So let's go ahead and see if we can find some other zombies without having a horde on us or something like that. So let's grab him. Let's go. Of course, a headshot is, I don't even know if that was a headshot to be honest, because it looked like it just spread everywhere. So we'll just... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go right over here. So we'll let him die. And this is the torso. Yeah, it's, it's just going to be an automatic kill, no matter what. One shot for everything. It's a shotgun. What else do you expect? It has like five different hit markers whenever you shoot. It's, it's pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it for all the new weapons. They also have all their weapon clips, which are all in the guns, of course. Um, but you guys should know how to spawn these in so i'll have the update notes as well in the description of the video so you guys can go check out these for yourself and uh yeah let's go ahead and move on with the next thing so for the improvements we have improved road vertices flagged with ignore terrain to be placeable on objects improved control panel modules or models and variety and for the tweaks we have tweaked acid spit to have separate death message and tweaked density of acid spit graphics lower and to better reflect damage area now for the fixes guys, we have fixed using players as pillars for structures. So you were actually, if you had, if I'm correct, two people on uh, on each side, like, you know, on left to right, of course, you would be able to use them as a pillar to set down a wall. So you wouldn't actually have to spawn the pillars. Now, I don't know the exact details on that, but I do know some people have already posted a video on it. So uh, I'll most likely put that in the description if I can find it. And if I can't, then of course it's not going to be in the description. So yeah, the next thing that we have is uh, uh, fixed unable to damage slash repair moving vehicle as passenger. Fixed floating point rounding errors in all percentage displays. Not showing acid spit with more gore disabled. Uh, to fix to prevent sprinting while shooting. Fixed zombies acting while stunned. Fixed editor object target stealing search focus, fixed view model lights on gun attachments, and fixed light LOD flicker when activated, fixed fixed to clamp yaw on client, and fixed the pitch check order on server. Now, sorry about that guys, I was sort of tripping over some of my words there. Um, but yeah, so that's about it for the addition of improvements, tweaks, and fixes, and also we have a little message from Nelson at the very bottom of the update notes, so I'll go ahead and read that off for you guys in a second. So Nelson wrote out at the bottom of the update notes, and he put it under the section map. As some of you guys may know, these new guns were actually worked on slash found in files over the last two weeks. Previously, when fully focused on working on a new map, the updates were paused while everything came together. But this way, there's still something new and fun to check out. In reality, the majority of my work this week was on new objects. So, Nelson has mainly been working on, I'm pretty sure, just new objects overall, such as like new buildings and all of that. So, I don't know when exactly we're going to be receiving it, this Russia map, guys. Uh, it could be in, maybe, maybe it could be next month. You never know. Yeah, or not next month, but it could be next week. You never know. Or it's probably like in a month or two months, or it, it could probably be somewhere far, far down the road, and we're just like expecting it sooner. But uh, yeah, guys, anyways, if you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later.